Hi class. Mr. O, your substitute teacher here and Geckos, today we're going to learn about hydro dipping. Now that's not boring paint like this. This is fast, fun, and free art that we can do outside. Let's go outside and get started. Now remember, this is painting, so before we start our painting, we need to take the appropriate safety and clothing precautions. So, now we're ready to go painting. Let's take a look at the materials required. The first thing we're going to need is a paintbrush. And then you're going to need the stuff that you're actually going to paint. Rock 1 hasn't been primed yet. Rock 2 has been primed to save time for this video. We'll talk about prime in a moment. Of course, enough to prime, you need any type of flat paint. And the first thing we're going to do with our flat paint is paint and prime our rock or our cell phone cover or anything that we want to paint. It's going to take a couple hours for this to dry out in the sun, but for the ease of convenience, we'll jump over and finish with this pre-painted rock. And now we're going to use the colors that we're actually going to spray paint with, and the brighter the colors, the better. Okay, so here's our paint. After some vigorous mechanical agitation, that means shaking. We're gonna put our paint into the water. Remember, we're gonna talk a little bit about hydro dipping in one moment. So, let's start off with darker colors first. Remember which way the wind's blowing before you spray paint. A little bit of yellow, and in Bob Ross fashion, nice, happy red. All right, we got three good colors up here. Let's mechanically agitate. Get some swirly different types of cool patterns. Now we are ready to dip our object. The term hydro dipping comes from hydro, Greek for water, and dipping for, well, you know what dipping means. Anyhow, hydro dipping uses the old phrase, oil and water don't mix, which is to say, water can dissolve or absorb almost anything, but it does not absorb oil well. This is the same reason sea otters and penguins have oily hair or feathers on their coat. It helps keep the cold ocean water out and helps them stay warm. It's also the reason why oil spills are very hard to clean up and horrible for the environment and wildlife. Oil also has a different density than water, which is a fancy way of saying that when you apply an oil-based substance, like paint, onto water, it floats. Spray paint is an aerosol, which is another fancy way of saying it has pressurized gas inside the can to help the paint get out when you press the button. This makes the paint spray out in circular patterns. When we use an applicator to mix the various paint colors into a swirl, then slowly dip our primed surface into the swirl, the spray paint is absorbed into the surface of our object, and the water in the tank keeps on repelling the oil paint, pushing more and more of our spray paint back into our object. And this is what hydro dipping does. We're gonna leave this out to dry. Until then, for a safe social distance, I'm Mr. O, reminding you to keep calm and get go on.